So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, um, Josh Taylor has said that he feels that he, that he would destroy Javante Davis. He said Javante Davis is a good fighter, um, but Mario Barrios was outboxing him. And Josh feels that he would, he's a lot better than Mario Barrios. Uh, and he would outbox him and beat him up and absolutely smash him to pieces. Uh, this is a fight that I would really like to see. I think a lot of people in the boxing in the boxing um, industry think that Josh Taylor would beat Javante Davis. Um, they think he'd be too big, uh, and they'll be thinking. I think he's. They think he probably think he's. He's, he's too. Javante Davis is too small at the weight. I would favor Josh Taylor in the fight, but I wouldn't be. I wouldn't write Javante off like some people are. I actually think Javante Davis is a lot better than what people give him credit for. And I think, I like Josh Taylor. I think he's a good fighter. But I think some people are, are giving him a bit too much credit. Um, I think he's a very, very good fighter. No doubt about it. Taylor can fight. And, he, and, his, and his run at 140 has been great. He's fought everybody. But I don't, think, I don't think he's as good as what some people are making out to be. I think some people are now starting to put him on a pedestal. Oh, he's one of the greatest British fighters of all time. And, you know, he's, he's, he's a special, you know, top two, three pound for pound. Uh, I, I'm not going to get carried away too soon. He's had a good run at 140 and he's definitely an elite 140 pound fighter. Well, he's the best at 140 pounds. He's number one. But let's get it right, right? The fighters at 140... Uh, right now, it's not exactly a, a stellar division. It's not exactly a great division. Um, and and some of his fights, the postal fight, it wasn't an easy fight. The pro grade fight, some people thought he didn't win that fight. Uh, or it was a draw. You know, you could even make an argument it could have been a draw. If that fight was in America, maybe pro grade wins the decision. But that aside, you have to give a guy credit because he's gone through and he's beaten. And he's fought a lot of underbeaten fighters and he's beaten them. He's a very, very good fighter. Josh Taylor, no doubt about it. But Javante Davis is very explosive and his boxing IQ is a lot better than what people give him credit for. And what I mean by that is Javante Davis, he reminds me of a mini Mike Tyson where he looks for openings. He looks for holes, he looks for openings. And when he does find them, he's very explosive and he's got 12 rounds to do it. Now, a lot of people seem to think that Josh Taylor is a, far, is, is a very good boxer. And Josh Taylor's bigger, stronger, got a good chin. Uh, Josh Taylor would outbox him. I have no doubt that Josh Taylor would outbox Javante Davis. The reason why I want to see this fight is because Javante Davis has explosive power. And I feel if Javante Davis lands, which he will, I believe Josh Taylor could be in serious trouble. And I, and I don't just think that about Josh Taylor. I think that about anyone that Javante Davis lands on. Now, do I think Javante Davis would knock Taylor out? Problem, no, I, I would favor Josh Taylor on points on this fight, but I think it's a very, very hard fight. And I think it's a fight where Taylor could hit the canvas as well. Um, and I think it would be his hardest fight to date. I'll tell you why. Regis Progre, although Regis Progre sat on Josh Taylor's chest and made it a tough fight, Regis Progre doesn't have the explosive punching power. Now, a lot of people say, well, that punching power is at lower weight classes. No, no, no. He has explosive power. You can tell when you see a puncher that has explosive power. His punches are the type of punches that can surprise you, That are punches that you don't see coming. Like Povetkin. Like a Wilder. He has explosive power. There's different types of power. There's Golovkin power, thudding power. Every punch hurts you. There's explosive power, the kind of power that can put you to sleep. Canelo has more explosive power than Gennady Golovkin. But Gennady Golovkin might be a, a much bigger one-punch knockout. Oh, sorry, not, not one-punch one bigger. He might be a bigger puncher. More thud in every punch. Every punch is like a hammer. But he's not explosive. The explosive punches are the ones that knock you cold. Like Wilder, he's explosive. Adonis Stevenson, he was explosive. Those are the type of guys that knock you cold. And Javante Davis is an explosive puncher. He's the kind of puncher that knocks you cold. And a, and a puncher like that is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Because at any point in the fight, they can hurt you. And what I saw against Barrios is that he hurt a bigger man. To the body. 
There's nothing to say that Josh Taylor wouldn't be hurt against Javante Davis. There's nothing to say. Because I believe Javante Davis is a better fighter than Regis Progre. And what I mean by that, what I mean by that, I believe that Javante Davis has a better boxing IQ and he's, and he's got more power, more punching power. That doesn't mean that Javante Davis necessarily beats Regis Progre because styles make fights. I just think he's got more punching power, explosive punching power than Regis Progre. Regis Progre's made it a hard fight for Josh Taylor, stayed on his chest all night, and it was a very close fight, but Regis Progre doesn't have the explosive punching power of a Javante Davis, and that's what makes this a very, very interesting fight. Do I think Javante Davis would lose if the fight goes 12 rounds? Yes. Yes. I believe Josh Taylor would outbox, and outbox in the sense, I don't think it would be a, a wide by any stretch, but I think Javante Davis would lose a decision. However, I think Javante Davis has the kind of power to hurt Josh Taylor. Yes, I do. I think Josh, I think Javante Davis has explosive punching power. That if he catches anyone right, I think you're in trouble. I think you're in big, big trouble. And that's why I want to see this fight. That's why I want to see this fight. Because I think Javante Davis could give Josh Taylor fits. Because the other thing is with Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor is not that disciplined. Josh Taylor likes to have a fight. Josh Taylor likes to have a fight. He's not the type of fighter that takes a step back and, and looks to box a disciplined fight. If you look at the Regis Progre fight, he can easily be dra dragged into a war. And in order for something, that's why I think it's an interesting fight. Because Josh Taylor's not going to box and move. He's going he's gonna to trade. Eventually, he's going to trade with Javante Davis. And for me, Davis has the kind of power that can hurt him. And that's why I think it's an interesting fight. I don't think Josh Taylor's disciplined enough to box a fight where he's not going to get involved with Ta Davis. And I think if you get on the inside, yeah, Taylor's a bigger guy, might be stronger, but Davis has the kind of punching power, explosive punching power, where he can land something, right, and hurt you. And that's what makes this an interesting fight. Do I think if Josh Taylor is able to absorb uh, Davis's power that he wins the fight? Yes. But again, that's the question mark for me because Davis has explosive punching power. That kind of punching power cannot be overlooked. It cannot be overlooked because it's not any type of punching power. Like I said, Golovkin's a power puncher, but it's more thudding power. This is explosive power, the kind of power that puts you to sleep. The kind of power that scrambles your brains. That's the kind of power Javante Davis has. This is why I think this is a very, very tough fight for uh, Josh Taylor. And for anybody, 140 pounds. I'm not going to write Javante Davis out because of that explosive punching power. I know I, I Ray doesn't think that the power carries up, but he has explosive punching power. See, Gennady Golovkin, there's different types of punching power. Javante Davis has explosive punching power. Like Wilder, where they can get you out with one punch, where they can hit you with a punch and you lose your senses. Javante Davis has that kind of punching power. Golovkin has thudding punching power. Punching power that wears you down. Not really a one-punch knockout guy. Javante Davis is a one-punch knockout guy. Wilder's a one-punch knockout guy. Why? Because they're explosive. Wilder's explosive with that right hand. Javante Davis is explosive with the uppercut, with the left hook. He's got explosive punching power. It's punches that you don't see coming that hurt you. And Javante Davis has that. That's what makes that fight interesting. Josh Taylor overall would out would win a fight, win the fight on points. But it's whether Josh Taylor can absorb that kind of punching power. And that's what makes that fight interesting. Because if Javante Davis can't hurt Taylor, then Taylor would win on points for sure. But the fight is, for me, a proper 50-50. I, I, I don't see this being a one-sided affair. I think this is a very, very interesting fight. Javante Davis is a very, very aggressive, mean fighter. Very, very aggressive. Very, very mean. But we saw in the Barrios fight that Javante da Davis said in the post-fight that he was big and I was wary. Now, Taylor's also very big and he's a better boxer. He's not a huge puncher, but he has enough punching power to get your respect. He has enough punching power to hurt you. And especially he has enough punching power to hurt somebody like a Davis. Because Davis is smaller. This, is, this fight is very fascinating. There's a lot of questions 
that need to be answered. But unfortunately, Mayweather doesn't seem to want to put his fighters in there with other guys from different, from, with different promoters, different broadcasters. I hope he does. I hope this fight does come off because I think it's one that Davis can win. But it's also a fight that Davis could lose. Would Mayweather be willing to take the risk? I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether he'd be willing to take the risk. I don't know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. I think it'd be a great fight. Who do you think wins the fight? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.